Hi everyone, myself Dr. Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Today, we will be learning about part 2 of surgical instruments that is cutting and dissecting instruments. Please watch this video till the last for better understanding. Let's get started. Cutting and dissecting instruments. In this section, we will be learning about Mayo scissor, both straight and curved type, curved Metz and Baum scissor, Potts Smith scissor, Lister's bandage cutting scissor, Iris scissor, how to hold a scissor. This is how straight Mayo scissor looks like. Now, we will be discussing about them one by one. The first is Mayo scissors, it is a stout scissor. How will you describe this scissor? There are two rings, handle, there is no ratchet, screw joint, and there are two blades without any teeth. There are two types of Mayo scissor, one is straight, and the other is curved Mayo scissor. The straight Mayo scissor is also known as suture cutting scissor, it is used to cut the sutures. Very important question, almost always asked in exam, what is the method of sterilization of a scissor? It is sterilized by chemical method by 2% glutaraldehyde solution, commercially available as Cidex. Remember, it is not sterilized by autoclaving because, that may reduce the sharpness of the instrument. Curved Mayo Scissor, it is stout and curved, there is no ratchet present in the scissor as well. It is used for the dissection, mainly in the tough tissues, like in fascia, like, we are going for debridement and amputation, then, we have to cut the tough structures, so, then we would use this curved mayo scissor. This is also sterilized by chemical sterilization. The next type of scissor is, curved Metz and Baum scissor. There are two rings, long handle without ratchet, screw joint, small short fine blades. It is mainly used for fine dissection. It is the most commonly used scissor for dissection purpose. This is also sterilized by chemical sterilization. In the Potts Smith scissor, there is long handles, and blades are short, and angulated. Main use of this is, whenever we have to make a stoma, in artery, vein, or any tubular structure, then, we first make a tomy by 11 number blade, then to increase that opening size, we use Potts Smith scissor. Lister's bandage cutting scissor, there are two kind of blades, one is short, which is active and used for cutting purpose, while the other is long blade, and has a protective role. This blade is used for cutting the bandages, and are also used during caesarean sections. Iris scissor, it is a fine scissor, used by ophthalmologists in doing various surgeries, however, in general surgery, it is used for very fine and superficial dissection. As you can see there is gold in color coating at ends, this indicate that scissors have tungsten coating, and thus helpful in identification. There are other types of coating also, for example, black handled rings indicate superkit scissors, blue instruments are typically titanium. Lastly, let's learn how to hold a scissor correctly. Whenever you get a scissor in examinations, examiner always ask you to demonstrate how you hold a scissor. The scissor is hold by keeping thumb and ring finger and two finger rings, as shown in this picture. Common mistake is done by students that they put middle finger instead of ring finger. So, keep that in mind, we have to keep, thumb and ring finger, in finger rings, it would be guided by index finger, and that's the right way of holding a scissor or any artery forceps. Thanks for watching. How was the video? Do let me know in comment section. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to press the bell icon for more updates. Have a great day.